Hello crafty people and welcome. Today I am going flipping crazy. I'm going to do a flip cup. I don't know, it seems to be such a long time since I just did a simple flip cup painting and I want to feel the joy from acrylic pouring. You know when you start off and you lift your first flip cup and the paints just kind of flood out and oh my god the cells pop up and everything is like so pretty and it's like magic. I thought I would do that today. Nothing too complicated. So I actually have some leftover paints from another project which I already have mixed up. Let me find my glasses. Okay, here they are. So I have got one of my favorite sets of paints. These are the DecoArt Crafters Acrylic paints and they come in this set of coordinated colors. And as you can see, they look kind of, kind of cool, right? And these are one of my favorites because I know that I can just put these colors together, any of them or all of them, and they're all gonna to work together. And I find that picking colors is the most difficult thing. So if I can just pick out these six every time and know that it's gonna give me a pretty painting, then I'm happy with that. So let me run through the colors. We have the purple is grape taffy, orange, bright orange, the green, grasshopper green, the yellow is a buttercream, the blue is island blue, and the pink is tutti frutti. So let me just take all those out of the way because I have them all mixed up here. Now these are easy to mix if you use the deco art pouring medium because you just mix equal parts of paint and pouring medium and no water or anything else is needed. I have however added a few drops of the treadmill belt silicon because I'd like to get some cells in my flip cup. I'm also going to just match them up with their regular uh, snow white and this one also has the pouring, um, pouring medium and the silicone in it. So I'm just gonna layer up a cup. I think I'm gonna do quite a lot of white. These colors I know look fantastic with black, but I can't remember off the top of my head whether I've ever really used them with whites. Now with black, they make a really nice bright contrast, a really strong contrast, these bright colors with black. I'm thinking if I put them with white, they're gonna go quite pastel and I'm expecting to have really quite a pastel and plain background, not the same kind of contrast I get with black. So let's just throw a load of these paints in, flip them and see what we get. I'm gonna start off with a good layer of white and then I've hardly got any blue, so let's see. This blue is one of my favorites um, and also the buttercream, the yellow one. And I tend to use these a lot um, in other paintings as well just because the colors on them are so nice. I don't just reserve them for use with these, this paint set. I'll often do others with them too. Yeah, there's very little of that blue. Okay, you're done blue. Also got very little of the orange. Let's pop that in. Now I think what I will do is put the colors into the cup kind of separately. So you can see I've put the blue there, I've just put the orange off to the side because I already think with the white, they're gonna be quite subdued. So rather than put them in from a great height and mix them up too much and um, take away their brightness, I think I will try and put them in kind of separate. So if I make myself a little puddle of white there, and now I'll pour some of that green into the puddle of white. Okay, do the same over here. Let's make another puddle of white. Now I'll pour some of the pink into that puddle. There we go. And over here. Okay, so my top camera has stopped recording. I'm gonna finish filling up my cup and then I just need to swap my cameras over. So let's put a bit of purple in there. I forgot that I've been doing, uh, that I've not changed the battery on this for a long time. So I'm going to swap them over and then we'll get back to it. Okay, battery's back, camera's ready. So I've been looking at my cup and I've been thinking, you know, it's so long since I did a flip cup that I actually feel a bit disorientated. I'm not sure how much paint I need. Now that says a lot that I've not been painting enough just recently. So I'm just going to keep layering up because after all, they've just got a few little bits of these colors left anyway. And if I do too much and it all rolls off onto the plastic, well, that's gonna be fine because um, I can use it for a skin and maybe make some pendants. 
because I just got a couple of um, new sets of pendant trays and cabochons arrived and those sell really quite well for me so I am not too worried if I get too much paint and it goes off then I will just use it to make some nice pendants with. There you go. I think I've probably got enough. Let's call this green enough. Okay, get these out of the way in case I make a mess. Oh, there we go, mess already. Whoop. Right, let's flip. Okay, tap for luck. Now the paint's been sat a little while already because it was already leftovers and then I had to go and change up the camera. So let's see what happens. Let's give it a flip. Oh, it's very white. Oh no, it's changing. The white's sinking, the colors are coming up. It looks pretty. So the, the paints are much more pastel uh, than when I use them with black. With black, they really pop, like they're really, really bright. Here with the white, they've gone a lot more pastel. Oh, that's pretty. But it still looks good. Okay, I don't think I've completely overdone it with the paint. I probably could have had a little bit more, actually, thinking about it. But let's just torch it. There we go. Get rid of a few of these bubbles. Oh, it looks nice. quite satisfying. I haven't done a flip cup in such a long time, or it feels that way anyway. It feels quite satisfying to do this for a little bit of a change. Slowly, slowly, off we go. It's very interesting to watch the paints move see how the cells develop and change and I think this will make a nice background it is really nice and pastel and um, did you see the elephant that I did for the YouTube challenge I was so happy with that that I'm thinking I really must do more pours and then alter the pour so this could be a nice background for that yellow seems to be taking over like a crazy thing There we go, keep going. Oh, I'm just stretching out like crazy now. It's all gone yellow. But depending on what I decide to do with it, yellow might be a good thing, right? So I will continue to get this all the way over, completely cover the canvas. Yeah, it's gone really yellow. Okay, let's do this last corner. The more I'm leaving it though, the more I'm stretching it, the, the yellow is still there, but the purple is kind of popping through now. Take that pink a little bit off and then I'm going to turn it back again. I actually quite like the yellow now. Now the yellow has got all the purple coming through, it looks pretty cool actually. I'm going to bring that pink back a little bit and take off this edge with the orange there that I'm not so happy and excited about. Okay, that looks good. So I've stretched this one out a lot. I've moved, um, moved the colours more and the more you move them, the more the other colours tend to pop up through. So when we appear to have a massive yellow explosion, sure it's still there, but now the other colours are starting to come through a little bit more. Uh, I think it looks kind of cool. So in terms of uh, a pore painting, it doesn't have any kind of focal point, it doesn't have anything exceptional about it, except this beautiful kind of pattern and mottling pastel colours, but I think it's going to make a great background. So I'm going to set this to one side, let it dry, and then hopefully in a future video you can see me do something with it and make it into something even more pretty. 
So that's it for now for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do like the look of these colours, not so good I think with the white. The, the white tends to make them a little bit more pastel, but when you use these with black, these really pop. So have a look out for some of those, and I'll see you in a future video.